Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? What are their intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watch. So let's see what we have for Cancer, Spirits, Angels, Guides messages guidance please for cancer in love and relationships what does cancer need to know okay so let's look at what's going on in your connection between you this person that you're dealing with what's going on for cancer in this connection what's going on in the connection at this time wow that's a lot okay nine of pentacles okay three of cups reverse Six of Pentacles reverse, five of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so mm, a lot of Earth energy here. What's at the bottom of the deck? King of Swords reverse. Okay, so Cancer, I'm going to tell you what I've told the other signs, some of the other signs. Um, astrologically, there's a lot going on all the way into the end of the year. Uh, and a lot of signs, actually every sign, is affected in some way with these shifts. Now I'm not an astrologer, so take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, but from what I've seen in other videos and things like that from actual astrologers, <laughs> there's a lot going on in the skies and it's a lot of um, shedding, releasing, upheavals, revelations, things coming to light. And it's showing up in all, pretty much all of the readings. So the fact that the King of Swords is reversed at the bottom of the deck does not surprise me. Um, I feel like this is somebody that would keep something to themselves um, because it benefits them. And I see here a Five of Pentacles reversed. So I'm, I'm getting almost like this sense that there is a loss that has happened in this connection already. And Six of Pentacles is reversed. There's an imbalance as well. And Three of Cups reversed tells me that there could have been an interference of some sort. It does not have to be another person, but something has gotten in the way in your connection. It could be um, lies, secrets. It could be uh, finances, career. It could be not being able to commit or something like that. Distance is also another one. So let's see what we can get here. Actually, let me use my clarifying deck. Now the Nine of Pentacles is here and the Nine of Pentacles is typically a card about doing well on your own, being successful, uh, being uh, very attractive and stable and um, you have a lot going on as a Nine of Pentacles. Now in this particular deck, the Nine of Pentacles, this man is kind of sitting around enjoying himself and um, it looks like he's just appreciating the beauty around him. I think that someone has their eye on you or vice versa. There's someone like, there's this element of watching, we'll see. Because um, sometimes I get the sense, you know, with all the other readings that I've, I'm doing, that this Nine of Pentacles could be somebody wanting to be free. So let's clarify. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here, Spirit? Oh, for cancer. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles, okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups, what's this? Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups. I feel like this is a situation from what I can, from what I'm picking up so far. Um, you are not with this person. I feel like a lot has happened here for this Nine of Wands to be here. Typically, it's like trust issues, defensiveness, guardedness. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Someone's tired, um, overwhelmed, or, or just has been through a lot, but they're still here. They're not giving up. Seven of Cups and then the Empress with the Seven of Pentacles. Ooh. There could be uh, some sort of illusion here with the Seven of Cups. There's various choices to pick from, but someone could have picked the wrong cup or thought the cup was something that it wasn't. Seven of Pentacles is a card about anxiety over the future, unsure about what's gonna happen, being very patient or trying to be patient. The Empress though, she's at a different level. The Empress would not... I feel Cancer, if this is you, if you are this Empress, I feel like there's something you're, you're not sure about. Um, and it has to do with this Nine of Wands. 
Everything that has happened is making you question things or question a choice. What happened with the Six of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Six of Pentacles reverse? I keep picking up a lot of cards. Nine of Swords and Ten of Cups. Two of Cups. This is an imbalance and a connection. Someone's worried about something, stressed about something, fearful, anxious. Um, tell me about this Three of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse. Oh, judgment. Wow. Bottom of the deck, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. This is just going to be another one of those readings. This, this, the Chariot keeps coming up. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, Judgment has come up a ton. Um, the World has come up for a lot of signs. Tell me more about this Three of Cups reverse. I feel like someone's waking up to something here with the Judgment card regarding this interference. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse. Yep. King of Swords, Ace of Swords, definitely, and the Page of Cups. So I feel like someone's getting clarity here it is awakening to a truth or having a personal awakening about the truth of something. Maybe they're receiving information. Um, maybe it's a message of some sort. Four of Swords, Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's something up here, though. Because the Nine of Wands showed up, Five of Pentacles is reversed, Six of Pentacles is reversed, there's an imbalance. The King of Swords was reversed at the bottom of the deck, so I'm like wary, you know? Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, there it is again. This is what caused this Five of Pentacles. I feel like someone could apologize to you. Three of Cups, Knight of Cups. Or want to reunite. Because the Five of Pentacles reverse could be a card about recovering what's been lost, coming in out of the cold. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reverse. This one. Yeah, I feel like someone's bringing you something. Yeah, Ten of Wands, Five of Cups. Yeah. Oh, there's the Fool. When this offer arrives, I feel like someone's going to be regretful, you know, maybe apologize, maybe talk about the past, about the burdens, the baggages that you've experienced, or the what's happened in this connection. However, the Fool is here. The Ace of Swords is here. Judgment is here. After Judgment comes the world, comes the Fool. So I wonder if there's already like a path that someone's taking towards a new beginning, towards freedom. You know, let's see. Let's see how you're feeling towards each other. What's going on between you? How are you feeling? Because this has already happened or is happening. But how, how are you dealing with it? And this other person. I'm going to have your energies on one side, Cancer. Your person's on the other. You could flip the energies if they resonate more for you. All right, Spirit. Tell me about Cancer and this other person that they are dealing with thinking about at this time what are the energies between cancer and this other person what do we need to know about the energies between cancer and this other person tell me about cancer tell me about cancer love letter the special message is on its way tell me about cancer hidden motives yeah there's something here that's off and i think it's going to show up now we're going to find out what's going on um tell me about the person cancer is dealing with what do we need to know about them what do we need to know about their energies unexpected event a tower what do we need to know about their energy spirit towards cancer towards this connection restoring balance yeah they're trying to fix something this person but i feel like they caused a tower Bottom of the deck, walking away. What have I been saying? This is just a common theme for almost everybody. Someone's walking away, walking towards something, leaving something behind. This is just coming up for everyone. I think you're going to receive some sort of message or you're going to have some sort of conversation, Cancer, where you find out that someone had a hidden motive or kept something from you. Maybe this already happened and you're still like um, dealing with the aftermath. What else? What else do we need to know? Spare for cancer and this other person. 
tell me about cancer. Tell me about cancer, please. Courthouse. <laughs> okay. Tell me about this person that cancer is dealing with. I'm going to put theirs down and I'm going to tell you what I see. Tell me about the person that cancer is dealing with. Mature woman, toil and labor, message of concern. Okay. Can I get one more for this person that cancer is dealing with? Yeah, false person. Okay, cancer. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing, especially with this courthouse. The minute I put that card down, I thought final judgment. There's something here with courthouse, and I'm thinking almost about like justice here. Let me look at the number 23. There's something here that someone's like deciding on officially, like an official decision. Lawsuits, court proceedings, divorces, wills, disputes, legal matters, um, negotiations, legal situations, decisions, discoveries, assessments, um, courtrooms, negotiations, um, blah, blah, blah. So this is kind of like the justice card. And I think this is about someone making a final decision that's very objective. Um, now, when I saw this mature woman card, I thought of the Empress. And then the false person card came out right next to it. So I feel like this person has done something where they have hit something from this mature woman. Um, you do not have to be a female. It could just be someone. I'm picking up that this mature woman is an energy of someone mature, someone that has grown, someone that is at a different level to this person. I think this mature woman energy, what again, does not matter if you're a male or female. Um, I think this mature woman realized that something was up. Like they knew about this false person hidden motive situation. Okay, let me get a secret moon for both of you. Tell me about Cancer's thoughts, feelings. What do we need to know about Cancer's thoughts, feelings? I don't know what to do. I regret what happened. Okay. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with at this time. What are their thoughts, feelings towards Cancer? What are their thoughts, feelings? I'm not giving up. Bottom of the deck, I'm working on myself. My heart belongs to you. So this person, that's why they have restore balance here. They're trying to fix the problem that they caused cancer. However, I feel like when it comes to like not knowing what to do here, I think what you don't know, you don't know what to do because maybe you don't have all the all the facts. But I think that judgment card is there because someone's going to know everything. Ace of Swords. King of Swords, the knowledge will be there. I think that knowledge will help you make a decision. Tell me more about Cancer. Tell me more about Cancer, Spirit. What do we need to know about Cancer? What do we need to know about Cancer at this time regarding this person, this connection? What do we need to know? The world reverse. What do we need to know for cancer? What do we need to know? What are their energies towards this person, towards this connection? Ace of Pentacles. What do we need to know for cancer? The wheel reverse. Okay. Cancer, I feel like you're stuck in a cycle that is meant to end possibly here with the world reverse. Possibly you have not received closure, but the sun is at the bottom of the deck, which tells me you're probably missing clarity, like the a light on the situation. Yeah, queen of swords reverse. 10 of cups is after that. I feel like there's some, there's something here that has happened. I wanna get one more that has, has you're, you're feeling a bit stuck. You literally don't know what to do or where to move towards, or you feel like your hands are probably tied. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? Ten of Cups. So this opportunity, this Ace of Pentacles, would lead to emotional fulfillment, satisfaction. Now I wonder if you're waiting for this offer from this person. Or if this is an offer that's coming to you that's making you question 
your connection with this person. Let's see what we get from now the wheel and the world two very similar energies reverse so I don't know it's it's I'm literally picturing a wheel that has like a foot on it you know like when someone like wants to stop a ball from rolling tell me about the wheel reverse Tell me about the wheel reverse. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Something slowly coming together here. Um, balance. Tell me about the wheel reverse. Things taking time. Probably this is about timing for you. Nine of Cups. There's something here about being emotionally fulfilled, emotionally happy. Getting something that you desire. Tell me about this wheel reverse. Why is the wheel reverse? Yeah, there's justice. <sighs> Ten of swords. Okay, Cancer. I'm going to tell you what I've told the other signs because it just keeps coming up. Every time I do these readings, I keep like shuffling and doing different, like, you know, clarifying different cards and stuff, and the message is still the same. Um, I feel this justice is tied to a Ten of swords. You will only get justice with a difficult ending. Or a difficult ending will bring justice. Take it as it resonates for you. The message is the message. Um, I feel you're the one looking at something objectively, making a final decision, having some sort of legal battle or legal um, official thing happening. You could be going to like an official government office and signing paperwork or something like that. I think that's gonna turn this wheel around. Tell me about the world reverse. If I could shuffle. Tell me about the world reverse. Why is the world reverse here? Why is the world reverse? Two of wands. Why is the world reverse? I feel like you don't know where to go. I think you're waiting possibly for a sign, waiting for confirmation. Page of Wands, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, Queen of Cups, Death. <sighs> Seven of Swords, that's this person. This person has, whoever you're dealing, I'm talking to a Cancer who's been deceived or misled by the person that they trusted. If you're in a happy commitment right now, Cancer, this is probably not your reading. <laughs> but I'm talking to a Cancer that is suspicious. Page of Swords, Seven of Swords. You already kind of know. I feel like this is something like you smelled it, right? Or like, you know that that phrase of like, you can, you can tell something's off. I think you know instinctively that you want to take initiative towards something new. But I don't think you know where, where to go. And it's possibly scary for you because you don't, you can't tell where this path would lead. So there's, um, there's a risk involved. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Page of Wands normally, they don't care about the risks. They kind of just impulsively go after it anyway. They take those first steps that no one else would take. Tell me about this Page of Wands. But I don't think this is in your nature. This is not something that you would typically do. Yeah, strength, Leo, energy. You need to be brave. I feel like emotions. Yeah, emotions that are tied to the past here. Five of cups, six of cups, and then the chariot once again. There you are, by the way, Cancer. Emotions or the past have muddled your courage or something about the past makes you hesitate now. Even though you need to push forward. What's this Ace of Pentacles? I feel like this person, the Seven of Swords, they confuse you rather than help you. There you are again. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, Three of Swords, okay. Can I get one more for the Ace of Pentacles? 
can I get one more for the Ace of Pentacles? What I'm thinking here is that this is going to be an offer that you accept, even though it's painful for you to accept it, which tells me you have to let something go. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, maybe a commitment. Maybe this is a commitment that is broken. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, which brings another opportunity along. Eight of Wands and then the Lovers. Ace of Wands, yeah, this is something new. Gemini energy. You could be headed towards meeting someone new, meeting a soulmate, or being led to a soulmate through a different way or like a different direction. You go in a different direction and it leads you here. You don't know this. You can't see this. Yeah. The sun, the five of cups. You can't see the future. No, I mean, most of us can't unless you have some sort of special ability. Um, but I think what's happening in these weeks coming up, Cancer, is that we are going to face uh, almost like a, not a breaking point, but it's going to feel like an ultimatum for a lot of us that there's something that we have to do. There's no pussyfooting around it. There's no hesitating anymore. We're going to be forced to release. And that's hard for anybody, even those that are ready for just, you know, being done with something. But I think for you in particular, I think this person, and I, I mean, I just feel like they've messed with your confidence. Tell me about this person that Cancer is or will be dealing with. Tell me about this person that Cancer is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about this person? Now, this person is not giving up. They want to fix things. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Tell me about this person. What do they want to do? What are they thinking, feeling for Cancer here? Nine of Wands. What do we need to know about this person? Ace of Swords. Okay, the Ace of Swords is here. Definitely the opposite of uh, Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups, Reverse Clarity. Seeing through the fog. Oh, there's the tower. There's a tower happening here, and it's, it's involving your person. We have the tower and the tower here. I don't know what is... I feel like this is going to be different for all of you. Um, this information or this message. Now, the Seven of Cups is reversed. So the Seven of Cups, like I said earlier, it can be quite about an illusion, right? It's you, you don't really know which option to choose, and some of them look really good, but upon closer inspection, they're not that great. Um, sometimes it could be a card about seeing what we want to see. So when the Seven of Cups is reversed with the Ace of Swords, um, I'm getting somebody here. Hold on, let me just see if we can see that there. I'm getting... Um, I'm getting uh, this this image of someone cutting through like a foggy wall or something like that with a sword so you can see beneath the fog. I feel like this person, this conversation with this person will bring clarity. Let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Ace of Swords with the Seven of Cups reverse. I find it fascinating that this card has a fox. <laughs> Tell me about the Ace of Swords with the Seven of Cups reverse. If you're curious, this is the Tarot of the Little Prince. Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Swords with the Seven of Cups reverse. Six of Pentacles, okay. Six of Wands. This person's gonna bring you some sort of offer. The Tower and the King of Swords. I feel like this is going to be, it's interesting because I'm picking up almost like there's going to be a revelation tied to this conversation. So not only are they going to tell you, hey, I care about you, I want to fix things, but while they're talking, you're going to realize something or you're going to find something out or they're going to confess something. Because in their mind, it's probably like a Hail Mary, a last, their last resort or their last option. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Yeah. They must have really screwed up because I think you, what's happened here is for a lot of you, not all of you, a lot of you cut this person out or 
they don't have access to you like they used to. And that's not like you. And that, that I, I, I swear I've told you, cancers this before in another reading, but I feel it's coming up here too. This person was out in the cold and they don't want to lose. So they're going to do whatever it takes to fix this. Yeah. Because they're worried. Because you're at a different level now. They probably don't even recognize you, Cancer. Like, they don't know who they're really dealing with right now. <laughs> Tell me about the Hierophant. There's something here with commitment. Tell me about the Hierophant. The Sun. Tell me about the Hierophant. Queen of Cups. This person might commit to you after not wanting to commit or tell you that. Oh my God, why is the Ten of Swords? With the Judgment card. Okay, no. Three of Wands, Five of Wands, five, and then the Hangman. I feel like this person's coming towards you after something ends. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. I wonder if that's enough for you, Cancer. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah, Page of Cups and Death. Scorpio Energy, Ace of Swords. I feel like this person is going to come to you and tell you the truth after everything has happened. Like they waited till the worst possible moment. Or they waited till the dust settled or this tower happened. Something happened between you that was a tower. And I feel like that, that situation forced you to make a final decision. And it's final for you, Cancer. Now, Cancers, I feel like we get a bad rep, and I say we, <laughs> because I am, um, I have a, a lot of Cancer in my chart, and I also, my Ascendant, I am a Virgo Ascendant, but I am very, it's very, um, it's like seven degrees, so I'm like very close to, um, is it Leo? No, I'm sorry. Um, what am I talking about? I'm a Gemini sun, but my Gemini is like 27 degrees. So I'm like right on the borderline of cancer. Um, because my birthday is the last day of Gemini, the Gemini month. Sorry guys, I'm not an astrologer. Can you tell? <laughs> so anyways, so I have a, um, a lot of cancer tendencies because I'm a cancer cusp. Um, and cancers, we are very obviously emotional, protective, guarded of ourselves. And we, it's, I feel like we, it takes a lot for us to give up on people. It takes a lot for us to finally cut someone off or be very decisive about someone that we care about or have emotional attachments to because we're very loyal, right? But when we're ready to cut someone off, it's for good. I think that's what's happening here. You're, you're, this tower like was a wake up call for you and you made some sort of decision that you don't want to go back on. But this person is not giving up. They're going to still try. The problem is they waited until all of this happened. They could have prevented it, I feel. At some point in time, this it's almost like this tower could have been prevented or it could have been a smaller tower. Um, but this person, yeah, they... It's like too little, too late. This page of cups, this isn't enough. And I feel like in your mind, you don't trust this person. Seven of Swords. Um, what, what else was over here that came out? Um, three of Swords, Hidden Motives. Yeah. I feel like you, you don't trust this person's intentions. 